Here's my first attempt at making pasta by hand. Here are some of the items that we'll need. The items needed, flour, extra virgin olive oil, large eggs, salt, measuring cup, rolling pin, measuring spoons, and a blade. Measure out two cups of all-purpose flour. When messing with food, always remember to wash your hands thoroughly. Pour the flour on a large clean surface and make like a volcano with the flour. I did not make it big enough to hold the three eggs, one tablespoon of oil, and whisk slowly to add the flour. So I just start combining right away. Next time. The more you know. I also forgot the teaspoon of salt, so had to add it while trying to combine everything. Struggle bussin'. Once it starts to form to a ball, you'll be starting to knead. It shouldn't be too sticky. If so, add pinches of flour. If too dry, slightly add some water. Kneading is the process of pressing, flipping, folding the dough over and over. It's definitely some work, and next time I'll be using my KitchenAid mixer for this. But if you're a traditionalist, put love in every knead. Knead the dough for about 7 to 10 minutes until the dough is smooth and elastic. When you poke the dough, it should spring back. Poke, poke, poke. Once it's done kneading, wrap it in a plastic wrap and let it rest on the counter for about 30 minutes. After we're going to roll it out, lightly flour the table, rolling pin, and the dough to keep it from sticking. In an effort to make it more rectangular, I folded it and started to roll it out again. It gets too tough to flatten. Let the dough rest for a few minutes. Continue rolling the dough until very thin. When you lift the dough, you should be able to see your hand through it. You can see my hand slightly when I lift it, around this thin, maybe thinner. I added the flour to keep it from sticking and folded it for cutting, allowing me to cut with one cut of the blade versus running the blade from one end to end, layering it out. It also allowed some quality control and consistency. After cutting, I separated them and added some flour. Fill a large pot, bring it to a boil with heavily salted water. Some chefs say as salty as the Dead Sea, but I think that's a lot. Salt to taste. You only need to boil fresh made pasta three minutes roughly, compared to store bought, which takes about 10 to 12 minutes. Strain and add the sauce of your choice. Good to go. If you want to watch more of this cooking style, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what other things you'd like to see. Cooking, cleaning, trying new things, adulting. Make it so.